Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I am just having a bit of a look here. Um, this, th this, uh, this, this aggregate storage over here is completely full of coal. Well, not completely, but pretty much full of coal. This one is pretty empty. Um, but what it seems like is this is really not loading unless there's people working here. So unless this is pushing through more coal, it doesn't actually get through here, which means that we may have to um, start work on uh, on a on a fix for this. Um, and so I'll do that. Let's um, let's get rid of of this guy. So I think the fix is obviously going to be uh, we need to place um, proper. Um, uh, a, a proper engine in here and we will this will kind of work I think as long as we can get um, get a road through there but I think it's going to be fine either way and uh, and then the question ultimately becomes do we do we do anything else uh, about this so uh, let's delete this one um, hang on let's try first to get a bit of a road through there if we were to try our very best uh, we will not get a road through there. I mean, look at this stuff. Will we get a road through on this side? So we will just potentially try it on this. Oh, we will. We will not. It's through. Come on. That's pretty close. Let's, uh, let's try this. Uh, well, ultimately we can get rid of it. I just don't want to get rid of it right now yeah so in the end i would have liked to be able to do multiple um you know what you know what I, well we won't be able to cross through there so we could maybe get access somewhere honestly honestly we're having a ball of a time. Well, at the very least, what we can do is we can get rid of this and uh, and uh, and come back and and get it built and then, you know, sort it out from there. So let's do something like that so we can uh, get our construction crews over here. We would like to get Modred onto that. I also wouldn't mind getting the Zacto helicopter or actually Modred Air. Can, can make a move here also and we can get Zacto helicopters on there at the same time so let's uh, let's make a start there so here what we can see let's uh, let's wait for this train to come in it's got workers on it on board 38 workers to be exact which is more than enough uh, for this uh, facility over here so the moment so let's open up this guy uh, no not that guy this guy and then the moment oh So how did that work? It did actually fill itself up without the workers there. So now I'm concerned that it's not really the case. Is this, is there a situation with, oh, it didn't get enough power? So who's the big drains of power over here? How much power does this take? And that one? Source is not sending in this one. Is this one getting power from over here as well? No, no, no. Forget about that. I just want to... Something's funny. These things cannot possibly take that much power unless this is not actually getting any power. It's not getting power. So, we are out of power? Is that what we're saying? Oh, it's not drawing any power. It's got power. I don't know. I don't know what the situation is, but I honestly don't know why this is supposed to take this much power. Is this thing really that, that power hungry? Wish we had a bit, I, I wish I knew better as to how these things do their thing. Let's quickly have a look at this. This guy's doing his thing. Oh, he went there, it's on the way. Let's have a quick look at our power situation over here. So, that takes the most, but it's but it's being sourced from this side though. 
I have no idea why this one would require 3.85 megawatts while this one over here has a minuscule amount. So which of these things, unless it's this mod, unless it's this mod, let's have a quick look. But even that guy is not, is not a big, a big drain. Like, look at all of these. Well, from a voltage perspective, they're not a big drain. And from a megawatt perspective, they're not actually drawing anything. Right, so it might be saying that, but it's definitely not using um, all of its wattage, right? It's all good at the moment. So I don't know if we're if we're really in trouble here. But anyway, this guy will continue to perform this role here and continue to export this at 50,000 rubles a pop, which I think is absolutely fine. Uh, we are continue to build this and we do, uh, what I want to quickly have a look at is see what we can do about um, quickly putting our um, our heating into place here. So one of the things that we have, have to have a look at is this guy is nowhere near close to capacity and I've looked at this numerous times in the past. So I believe, what did we say here? If we go, we need to go kind of underground so we can have a look at them. So it's 1300 over there plus another really is that it do we not have additional heating is that our last heating source can't be no here it is plus one 300 over there 300 300 plus 300 over here and 300 over there so it's a thousand it's 600 and 600,200, right? That's it. There's nothing else. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all of that. So, 1,200. This guy has capacity for 900 more. So, we can do an extra three of them over here. So, what I would like to just think about a little bit. So, we... Not necessarily, yeah, but, but this guy will continue to run through here. So what I would like to do is maybe as a starting point, um, let's uh, let's figure out where we're going to put these heating stations. And um, and obviously from a distance perspective, let's test it quickly. Sorry, let's go underground again. Grab our heating pipes, the big ones, and we go underground. And I just want to. Can we please? So if I do, if I did something like this, right? Oh, I can actually get a pretty reasonable distance. So we can definitely do something over here somewhere. Ooh, we can do one eating plant over there. Okay, so let's uh, let's do something like that. Let's um, pop out and we say a small, a large heat exchanger. Just do something like this. Uh, we'll pop back up. Um, in this location here is pretty good. I just want to make sure we're not going to miss out on distance there. So if we if we were to place it right over there, so one one in that location, and um, it probably get to one. Uh, kind of somewhere over here which will also kind of cover us a little bit and then if we can do one more maybe in a location like this maybe that will be sufficient maybe we can actually reach all of them though some of them might be a little far away let's quickly um, lay them out let's get this guy to go over there Okay, I'm quite comfortable with doing that. Can we? Yes, let's run this guy all the way over there. Too long. Let's go straight up this way. And then we just need to find... Uh, shall we do it over here? No, I think we do need to do it on this side. Um, just to try and uh, limit the amount of... Oh, well, let's just bring in a new one. So if we were to, say, get it on... Kind of this corner over here somewhere. Something like that. Let's go again. Yeah, so we'll need to... 
trim this back a little bit and then try that again. So we'll need to go under like so. Gonna have a little bit of a piece there, but anyway, that's at least connected on that side. And uh, and we'll do one more, which is the last one for full capacity over here. Um, we'll do that. So at least we've got um, a, some starting point in terms of heating. We will need to do, uh, well, probably run some some um, some extend, extenders over here. So what I'll do is this area will kind of be a little bit of a utility area. So if we're going to say heat pumping station, it's like that, All right? And if we wanted to say maybe build three of them over here, so I'll do I'll start off with one. So, one like so, and then one more um, right over here, and that'll kind of be our heat forward pumping stations. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine, um, and I don't even mind um, having a little bit of a extra access off of there. Let's uh, pop out. Let's start by doing this and that. And then do do that. Okay, perfect. Let's uh, let's get that going, um, so the guys can quite comfortably start um, start uh, building that. Um, and then let's quickly um, at least start running some heat pipes um, up this way. So let's go back to heat pipes. Um, well, this time we're going to run it from over here. Let's go underground again. And hopefully that is quite sufficient. And we'll bring this one into about there and we'll tie that one in on that side. And we'll bring this one in up there and right over there. So now at least we can forward heating from there to probably these locations on this side. Um, and then we still have some capacity to run heating into this side if we were to need uh, some additional heating. So because it's uh, 1,200, that's 900. We can do another 900. We can do another four. We can come into this area. So I'm, I'm quite comfortable with that. So let's, uh, let's get all of this assigned and we'll slowly get everything constructed. So let's get our Zacto guys. Uh, don't do that. Let's get... Um, these guys are signed over there over there it won't do yet because we still need to tie those in uh we can probably make a start on this stuff all over here and that stuff all over there and at the same time let's get the the helicopter in on board so come and do that come and do that so we'll slowly get all of this stuff Kind of allocated for construction. Um, I will quickly do the paths as well, just so we can make a start on that, and then we'll be in a pretty good shape to actually start laying out some stuff over here. So I think this is a is a pretty good layout. So there's lots of infrastructure, utility services that we're running through here. Let's pop out of this menu and just put some paths in here. So we'll um, at least get ready for some construction. Uh, this guy can be uh, demolished. We don't need that one. And we'll quickly place this one over there. Excellent. Good stuff. Now, that's that's awesome. Now, um, so we'll get the guys to continue um, their plans over here. Our monuments are being constructed. Let's have a look what's going on with this. Uh, so we're still kind of getting there with the rail, but it's pretty close. And then it needs to be electrified. Look at this. Look at this. We actually have the highway completely built completely built all the way i'm amazed by it 
absolutely amazed by it. So, I'm going to leave all of this in place, but what I'll do, I will make a start on um, sitting in this up. Can I? Hang on, hang on. Just, just, just so I know. Can I? Oh, no. So you can't do the shift trick with this guy. So let's uh, uh, do that and do that. So now we will need to build some additional infrastructure on there, like um, some fuel stations, because otherwise this distance is uh, is a little bit too uh, ginormous for it to cover itself. And what I will probably do in the meantime is just make sure we've got some turnarounds uh, just to kind of be sure we we can accommodate that so let's um continue our little path down here da, 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 all the way it's still working it's still working it's still working wow and there we go up there let's run this one back that way excellent that's our one ways right now this is a proper a proper bit of freeway um i may just do an extra little turnaround facility over here just in case uh, we may do an extra turnaround it's not going to work over there we might do something over here uh, we might do a little something over there a few of them now let's quickly um, extend across the bridge oh we have, we have to do them in little sections I love the bridge the bridge is looking really good so that means we now have fairly comfortable access to to the other side of the of the map and uh, we're still working on on our uh, so from the south we've, i think it's now the western side or the, uh, actually eastern side and then the western side is uh, is something that we're still working on at least we have some level of access but how good it is is a is an open question excellent this is this section isn't too long get me all the way back all the way, all the way, all the way. Wow, it is a long one, actually. Let's uh, let's put an extra little turnaround over there, and an extra little turnaround somewhere over here. I think that's okay for now. Now let's run this through to the other side, all the way across this major bridge. Wow, this is a massive bridge. I actually look at that. It's enormous. It is enormous, and we'll run down here. Oh, that's a little section of road there. Interesting. Um, all the way up there. A little bit convoluted. This is access to our airport area. Got a little turnaround in this location. Beautiful. Look at this. It's going to be winter soon, uh, though we're paused at the moment. Excellent. Beautiful. Practically have this now sorted out. An entire section done here. And there we go. So, um, there's other stuff here that we can continue to do, but let's finish off the roads first before we get too eager with that if we quickly have a look at our map we zoom that out that means this entire highway system from here all the way up there has been built and the rail has just got a little slither left in here um, to get that done um, on this side we're across this bridge we're up to about this somewhere over here we've made a start from that side as well so it's not too far to go for us to do there still one big bridge to do over there and um, the rail is connected all the way up here we're still just working on electrifications i'm pretty keen to start working on that the next city is going to get into this area um, and so this will actually give us access to to a variety of different areas now we will need to do a variety of different kind of areas where things need to be done so let's quickly go back to that section and quickly do our our sections let's just plan out our little sections so um, I'm pretty keen on doing something over here. Now, it won't be powered straight away, which is part of our, our issue. So what I'll do is I'm just going to make a start like this. 
And before I do the rest, let's quickly set up what we want in here. We definitely want a maintenance depot, probably about eight vehicles. So we'll just do the the biggest component. Yeah, I actually like that. That's not bad. We'll do that one there. And uh, we also need a fuel station. And I want to do um, a big four, four vehicle station here. So something like that is, uh, that's two. That's the four station. So if we do that, we may still have other bits and pieces available in this area. So if we do that, it's not, this doesn't need any workers or the like. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep running it in here. Um, if we tie that in there, that looks pretty good. And we'll have this one tied in. We'll get that assigned. So now from a power perspective, I'm kind of tempted to just put some renewable energy sources out here um, until until a later time when we when we have other when it's easier for us to run run some better power out here. So I'm I think this small one is probably good enough, but let's just build. Oh, wow, actually, let's build a smaller one. I think the smaller one is going to be. Um, sufficient energy and I wouldn't mind I think that would actually work okay so let's do that and provide it with this access point there and I'll get that underway so we can assign this for construction so that's a piece there so we can get a uh, fuel at this point in time where over here Okay, so that is quite a distance then to the next fuel, but stop. Um, so I'm thinking we probably need a very similar piece. Yeah, maybe around this area. I'm actually quite keen on doing it right there because if we look at the, yeah, look, look, there's a bit of a hill here. So if anything, you're going to build it in, in this location and potentially have your access to the other side as well. Uh, ooh, you know what we could do here? We will uh, be in a reasonable position to build a... Really? Goes under the one, but not the other? Come on, surely. Oh, it might not be. It's the slope. That's the issue. So if we, I would like, if we make a start out there, we get over to turn, come on. And we get it out to the other side. Beautiful, there we go. Okay, and then this one will be Doing something like this. I'm pretty keen on that. Um, maybe a little bit extreme, but what we'll do is we'll do something. Oh no. Let's just have a look. If we switch that back on. Ooh. So that is a bit of a a bit of a dilemma here for us. Yeah, so we will need to bring a few things forward. In the meantime, we can just provide the... Oh, there is actually an access point right there. What we'll do is we'll remove that. We'll clear this stuff out. And what we'll do is we'll just provide a connection over there. And we'll get... Actually, we'll get this assigned. And then what we'll do is we'll just place those same things. Um, ooh... Actually, with the level situation here, it's not quite as easy. So let's do... Let's do this one here. Move it out a little bit out of the way. Okay, and then we will need to start having a look at what else we can do here. What Maybe some power is a, is a good idea. So let's uh, again... Actually, let's just... Yeah, again, just bring the, the small one along. We'll get it up on the hill over there as much as we can, and we'll get it signed over there. So that gives us 
a little bit to work on over here. We do need to um, bring the guys forward as best we can. Uh, where's our next one? Maybe in this location over here is a pretty good spot. Let's uh, clear that section out. And um, at least for the time being, it'll just be a connection through like that. Um, and then let's really do the other bits and pieces that we need. Again, I'm happy to do something like this and something like that. And we'll, well, this time around, we may actually just extend it a little bit so we can still tie some other stuff in there. If we uh, stop the snapping, should be able to tie that in. Beautiful. There we go. And we'll tie that one in over there. And again, we'll do some power over here. So I'll get the uh, the construction crews to kind of sort this out. You hope we're going to get sufficient power in here. And uh, of course, what we don't have here is some fire protection. So potentially that is something that we may add onto um, all of this. At the same time, is get some fire protection going. Hmm, this could be an access point over there. Uh, and then up here, we do have a fuel station where... Okay, anyway, let's just do that. That should give us a few um, pit stops along the way. Uh, yeah, about three fairly evenly spaced pit stops. Let's, let's have a look how far they are spaced apart. So I've got one here, one there, one there. So yeah, those two are probably a little bit close together. But I think all in all, it's probably reasonable to, to make these distances. This might, oh, actually, there's one there. So that's, uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, so that's a good starting point. We will close the map and, uh, and get our helicopter crews assigned to it. So this guy, get you assigned. Um, interestingly, that we can't uh, get those done. That's uh, unfortunate. We'll get those assigned. Oh, actually, there's a few more that we need to assign. We'll assign those. We will assign all of this and we will assign all of that. Interesting that there's a section there that doesn't want to actually work. And then if we have a look, do we have still have Virov in here? We know we do not. So what I'll just do is I'll just manually assign Virov quickly to do the little section in the middle. Um, I'll just do that one and that one, move it along and get a quick bit of assignment going there. Actually, we can do both sides and see about getting some of that sorted out for the starting point. There we go. There we go. So let's just make a start on some of these things um, so that there's at least something happening in that space. Now, I've unpaused. Um, let's get rid of all of these. So excellent, very happy to see that that road connection has actually gone through all the way. Um, we will continue to build out our utilities over here. We should be um, close to getting a few more apartments ready to go. Um, and then, yeah, I've had a bit of a look at the metro situation. The metro situation is one of the things I would like to do, but there's nowhere actually for it to go just yet, um, unless we get a, a lot more um, places to go but yeah the network uh, the the metro situation is an interesting one it doesn't seem to use signals or anything of that nature and um, and so it has to be a bit of a closed loop and so it doesn't have access points and things like that so we'll come back and plan that out a little bit later how is this stuff all going I had it paused for quite a while citizens happiness is too low so let's quickly have a look at why you are so concerned you were without food for a long time but at the moment you're not complaining of anything really that's really that important one citizen couldn't get food someone a few people couldn't get electronics someone couldn't get to culture but really um there's no significant concerns here anymore um do we see lots of workers available not really we could potentially get this crew to uh, refuel um, that location there just to make sure that um, we do have a bit of fuel ready to go for helicopters there not that it's a big deal for us I think but there we go that is altogether working fairly well now we have lost 
a lot of money in terms of imports. And so one of the things that we definitely need to do is sort out our imports. Uh, our imports is uh, is costing us a fair bit of money, but our we should hopefully um, sort that out. I think it was just a big load of steel that was basically started off. Now, what we will do in this episode further, um, I'm going to leave this as is, um, and I'm going to start planning our town. Now, the town situation is an interesting one because this area uh, will need some significant support. Um, so we will need to bring um, a few things forward. Oh, this is still a fair bit away. Okay, so in order for us to bring some stuff forward this way, we may have to um, just move these guys forward. I think that's the general the general deal, right? So these are two road depots. Um, so I might move a construction office forward because I don't think I have any spare road depots left. But if we can just build the one, then we can move the other. <clears throat> so let's have a quick look in terms of road depots. How many do we have? Oh, we've already got all four of them. Um, I can, I can get rid of this one. This one I've got over here is not actually in use. And so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and demolish that. Um, get rid of this. I um, People have been commenting that we need even more trucks and we'll keep an eye on that. For the time being, um, I think we're doing a reasonable job at keeping this thing nice and full. So I don't, I'm not too worried about that. There's a lot happening at the moment over here, but it's still, it's still kind of all fine. Let's quickly... Uh, remove that and uh, and then now we've got the road depot so we can move it forward to be able to like start oh actually we can just move it forward onto <clears throat> onto this onto this road hmm okay we will need some additional roads through here anyway so what I thought I'd do is let's let's just uh, because the one thing I want to do is I actually want to put the rail across over here, but it seems like road may also be going over in this very same location. So we'll have to have a bit of a look at what kind of an interesting arrangement we can make with road and rail over here. So let's uh, let's make a start and and bring that road off there. Yeah, and we'll and we'll bring it in something like that. So that's going to be uh, probably up to about that location, and we'll get our free road depot up here. Here we go, um, as uh, along with a free <clears throat> a free gas station. We've still got plenty of them. We'll get that one in place, and we'll then move these guys over. They're going to take ages to get there, but I'm not too fussed by that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll start moving them over. They should move um, in due course. Uh, we could also get someone over here. Hang on, hang on. Let's just find our our um, distribution office there. They should be able to um, still move us a little bit of fuel over this way. Perfect, so it'll bring some fuel this way. We will need it over here. Now, wow, I need to speed things up a little bit. So let's get rid of that guy. Uh, so now we've got another one available. So we'll just leave these guys um, ready to go. And um, another road depot will be placed in, come on, in, uh, in this location right here. Perfect, and we will move all of them this way too. Perfect, so now <clears throat> we will get these guys closer so that we can terraform a little bit and start building our road and the rail interchange right over here while all of the other stuff is still underway. <clears throat> we can continue to speed things along a little bit because there's a lot that needs to happen. Um, this... What? Oh, no, no, that's, this is the one. So why... 
<clears throat> I honestly, I thought... That's interesting. I actually thought it was done. Or close to being done. But anyway, it should be fine. We still have plenty of stuff going on here. Money is uh, starting to claw its way back a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Okay, have these guys been built? They have. Um, and people are actually pretty happy over here. Now, let's have a quick look what other availability we have. So, water is still doing okay. There is still a bit of heating capacity available. And so, since and certainly we have the shops ready to go. So, I'm kind of tempted to see about squeezing in a few more bits and pieces here. These guys should be able to access... Uh, let's just have a look where they can get to. They can get to the hospital, they can get to that shop, as well as, yeah, a few different places. Predominantly the bus station, of course, and um, they can work at the fire station and, and so on. So I'm thinking maybe a few more spots over here. Maybe this gives us more workers in this location. So maybe a couple more of these types of buildings or something slightly smaller in this location. And what we could also do is, of course, um, have some um, direct walking connections to this side. Might be, might be good too. Let's grab another few. And people have also been commenting I should be starting to upgrade these roads. And I kind of agree that it is about the time to do so. Uh, let's have a look. Um, in terms of housing, we have something here that's a reasonable quality. 100 workers is just a little bit too small. I'd rather do slightly bigger. Um... 150 might be about the right size for us. Now, the question is, I, I hate doing these things square. What I might just do is I might just do one like so. This will give us access to electricity and sewage and water from a number of different locations. So I might just do one there and we'll have exactly the same angle and place it over here. Ah, so that's good. We can make a start on that. Let's, um, that's, I think that's another 300 people. We'll definitely make use of, we'll do a bit of this, right? And we'll run over there. We'll get this guy tied in. A number of different locations. Traffic jam. Let's just have a look at that. That could be pretty serious. Uh, okay, so what's going on over here now? So you're waiting on... I'm assuming there's a track builder. Ah, oh, this is the issue. So you're on your way back. We'll get you out of the way so this track builder can move and then everybody else can move along as well. I just need these sections to get built and then we can put them in as one way. So that's going to be fine. Um, I have... I'm pretty sure I've placed them as high priority. Yeah, they are. So we'll try and get them done as quickly as we can. I could have a look at upgrading this as well. Plenty of things that we can upgrade. And what I'm kind of wondering is whether we um, assign an additional... Oh, but at this point in time, these guys... So let's maybe start work on... That's okay. That's all good. Uh, can we put someone like um, Kowski onto this? So let's let's uh, let's get. Um, come on. Just want to get these guys assigned. Oh, I need to, of course, get rid of that to make this a little bit more reasonable for us. Those two. I don't. I don't. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just a little bit more. What? How is that still there? Or was it still there and I didn't notice I had so many? So there we go. Those sections are okay. That's a pretty reasonable extension. So let's get Kaoski um, assigned to come and do these two. That's good. So that's a that's a different set of crews that's currently doing nothing that can make a, make a, make some movements on there. And the rest of this is all kind of done. And we do need to see about. So the helicopters are doing this at the moment. But yeah, so the helicopters are completely overburdened at this point in time. So we'll get Kaoski to start work on that. Um, these are obviously underway um, and making fairly slow progress. Still needs a lot of work there. Have these guys arrived? Not 
As far as I can tell, here they come. Here they come. Oh, that's done now. Beautiful. Okay, that's done. That's that's awesome. I don't necessarily need that to be electrified. So now what I can do is I can quickly do our um, our changes here. So this will be a chain, and that will be a chain, and then this will be a block signal going out, and then on that side we will have. Uh, oh, sorry, mixed. This needs to be mixed, mixed and mixed, so you can get in there. Um, this is all done. Um, this needs to be fixed, so let's just do um, our chain signal over there and our block signal on this side. And that also means that we are in an awesome position to finish off our block signals over here and our chain signal on this side. And now we can put numerous additional bits and pieces in here. So now in, the <clears throat> in this location, we'll do a chain and a block and we'll do um, multiple additional blocks to, uh, to just break this up a little bit. So that's a, that's a pretty good um, stint, uh, extension of our rail network. So we'll grab it there, there. Uh, there we go, like so. And like that, and yeah, that should be should be sufficient. So now at least that's working well. This is so long, we could potentially do a, uh, an extra block in the middle, and I kind of think I'm tempted to do it. Um, we don't re we don't generally use massively long trains here, but I think this would be longer than our existing longest train, which is which is awesome if we can split it up as far as we've split it up over here. Because that means that the, the odds of them blocking one another in these intersections is super low. Super low. So with that in mind, I believe we've... These guys are still not here. We've, we've seen the... Where are they? Here they come. Um, so they're past there. So what I can probably have a look at is seeing about getting those two assigned. And those two assigned. And what I'll do is I'll get... Suvasi to do this and Kowski to do that because they're coming from the various different directions. So that's good. So let's let's see them make a move on that. Um, it's it's so many different areas there. Oh, now it's done. So now I'm pretty keen on understanding how quickly we load this train. Here it comes. I will quickly have a look. I am keen. Do we have workers here? We actually do have workers, but they are moving out fairly quickly. Then we'll be losing them fairly soon, I think, all of them. But how quickly is this train going to load? So let's just put that there to see that we whether we have workers or not. And we'll put this one in here and we'll quickly see um, how quickly this loads now. Well, now it loads like a rapid, a rapid fire loading. Which one is being used? All of them are being used and we still have workers. Well, look at that loading speed. That is enormously different from where it used to be. So I'm very comfortable with that new loading speed. That was definitely a useful piece. And this thing still seems to say something, but this is, must be bugged somehow. One of these modded buildings must have an enormous draw on power. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. There it is. That's the number that I've been looking at. This has an enormous draw on power. Ah, so maybe that's the situation because it pulls. So that's where why if we if you don't have enough power. So next time I can see this in action, I'll uh, I'll have a bit of a, a look at that. So now we should be moving way more um, way more coal actually. Okay, getting back to where we left off here, let's uh, get that assigned. Um, we definitely want our Zactograd teams to start doing this um, and then we'll we'll get the rest of that built now the question is do we need any other facilities in this area electronics uh, you should really be able to get electronics over here right it's available there um, you only have the one and there's always enough people that I've seen so far so getting a couple of extra houses over there we should still be more than okay with regards to our various infrastructure pieces so power yeah, power is maybe now getting a little bit too um, too far. This side, we still have a fair bit, so we could do something over here, though this is kind of a little bit of a park here. 
Um, and I kind of like the idea of just leaving that the way it is. Happy to see all of these utilities making a move. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there with some of these things. Um, construction is underway for a lot of this stuff. But yeah, it'll be slow going. But we don't need that um, straight away. I'd, I'd much rather start focusing on this. And then let's go back and have a look to see if we can start or quickly do our interchange. Uh, the planning for our interchange before we go any further. Um, I can also now delete you. Let's do that. We'll leave that free station there just for the time being. So this is happiness alone. It's the same one, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's just go back and check. It is the same one, and it's still at like 49%, right? These are coming back, but slowly. So the only it was 48 the last time we checked, so it should be reasonable. This guy still has more than enough capacity. The issue is it doesn't really have enough workers, and so... Might have to have a look at this. Nine prisoners escaped this year, 10 last year. So we're not getting enough uh, prisoners here, uh, prison guards here. Let's just see. So this bus, um, Zacto Heat Workers. Let's view the line. Well, we've got plenty of buses on that line. Um, so the question is, do we need to do more? That does start to become... Oh, because they're going in all different directions. Yeah, actually, there's sufficient. I mean, we can't do much more in terms of it. We just need um, the buses to get here a little bit more regularly. So here, here they come. I really don't think it's a big deal. Uh, we're still good with this, right? And these are still holding. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, these guys have good numbers. Good numbers here. I can maybe up that number again a little bit. See about moving a bit more in here. Ooh, sewage tank is overfilled. There, there it comes to come and collect it. Let's see how much it actually takes. Um, takes everything, right? Absolutely everything. It's so little. It's really so little. It took almost nothing. So it doesn't actually tell you how much it is, but it's a very, very small little... Um, little facility there. How far is this? That's that's done. These guys are moving. Look at all of these vehicles driving over here. Look at that. Kaoski is doing its thing. The gravel that's uh, that's underway here now. Excellent. Okay, let's um, let's start having a look at our. Uh, where was my interchange coming into? Over here. Okay. Switching that back on. Yeah, that's the, this is kind of the last thing we're going to have a bit of a look at. It's going to start snowing soon. So, uh, well, we'll just uh, kind of wait it out. So I think the idea is really that we'll need to have a bit of a look at um, a level. I might just slow the speed down a little bit. So what is the level here? It's 104. And over here, it's 106. And over here, ooh, oh, it's going down. And then, ooh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't quite... Appreciate. We're kind of going over the ridge there. Yeah, I could probably realize that. But we can certainly up that and then make a bit of a move um, in this location. Okay, so the idea is let's um, let's trim back. Uh, oh, let's 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 trim that back in a in a manageable way. So up to about there and see how that goes. Now, what I would like to do is um, is just up this uh, this a little bit over here. So let's. Um, Make it nice and large, and we'll see about um, kind of increasing the size of this plateau over here a lot more. Oh, and what I would like to do at the same time, I just want to make sure we, uh, let's just switch on snapping. Want to make sure we're we're doing what we can to protect this road. We don't necessarily have to protect something in the middle there. But I just want to make sure we're protecting that road so that uh, as we continue to do the work here, we're uh, we're not getting too crazy. So what's this level at now? One fifteen. Okay, so that's about right. So that, let's do it about that, and then let's say level from the center. Making it slightly bigger because we're going to do both road and rail um, over here. So it's a pretty nice little 
little ridge there, right? So at this level, it is 115, and at that level, it's 104. So that's a very good 10 meter clearance over here. Now, the question that really is here, what we can do is we can bring the road back down and have the road come in into both directions um, over here. So what I will do is we'll have a bit of a extended rail bridge to cross here. Um, and then our, our um, yeah, so then we do need a little bit of a, a little bit of a rise right in this location. Now we're at 105. Now we're at 107. Now we're at 110. 114. One, yeah, there we go. That's about the right. Let's uh, level it from the center. We'll make this one a little smaller. We will also still bring it in about as close as we can get it. I'm not going to do anything fancy, too fancy with our with our road bridge here. But we may. Okay, so what I'll what I'm interested in is let's see what we can do in terms of road bridges. I, mm, do we do something a little bit more fancy? Do we do something like a like an extended? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool if we could do that. Yeah, it's kind of a little, yeah, I like it. That's uh, that's what we're gonna do. And now, so the idea now really, uh, so that's the one. Now what I will do, I'm not pausing, yeah? I'm not pausing. So now what I wanna do is I wanna kind of um, smooth the terrain out here a little bit more. Um, and then we wanna go down from here. So let's just grab this guy. And turn it down at like a, a reasonable. If we do something like that, right? And I then, uh, so there's a bit of a trick here. If I do a little section there and a little section there, and I kind of delete, um, well, actually, all that. And now I think what we can do is we can, yeah, we can basically just uh, smooth it out a little bit better. So that's pretty cool. And we'll do a very similar thing on that side. Just to um, manage it, uh, it's a little bit better. So they will do that. Uh, we'll actually delete that one again. We'll delete this section and that section. So I think that's about done. Uh, all we need to do is maybe level it out a little bit, smooth it a little. There we go. Just a little bit on all sides, so that's pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll run it down like so. So now, however we choose to interact with this, we can still do that later. And we can, in kind of this location, I want to try and get it as low as possible. So this would be the lowest point. But the idea is really that we do probably something like that in terms of a road connection. And now we'll, we'll run that this way. And we can we can use that for an interchange. Similarly, we'll do very similar things on that side. Now, what I also want to do is now I'm just going to do a little bit more terraforming here. So we need to get it up to... Do that uh, on a level there. So that's about the 115 level. So let's uh, level it from... The center in this location. We'll do a little something like that as a as an area. Oh, and let's push it forward just a tad. Um, I don't mind it being a slightly longer bridge, but um, just want to make sure we're pushing it forward just a little bit more. Okay. So now the idea is really that if we are going to do rail, let's uh, let's make a start with just standard rail section. So if I'm going to say, um, you want to do that and we yeah maybe so maybe if we do try and do it straight instead right so let's actually let's level it out just a little bit more to this section here 
Okay, so if we do something like that, that should give us um, pretty uh, pretty direct angle. So what we'll do is we'll do Am I not snapping? I am, uh, but I need to actually, I need to pull it back a little. Let's do that. Because I do like to make a start um, of the bridge uh, quite properly on the on the plateau. Ooh, it's still not quite right. We may have to um, just uh, move it a little bit. Don't do that. There we go. There we go. I think, I think that will will properly do it. So let's say if we are going to say we're just going to do a straight bridge section. Yeah, it's not quite the right, is it? Okay, so the alternative is for us to do a curved bridge and we do something like this. Give it a little section there and we then go and grab ourselves that curved bridge there and but that's really unpleasant um, uh, but you know what I think that's probably better but what I will do then is I'll do this thing much straighter on this side so let's um, clear that out and we'll do straight section over there so we're going to go straight across and then we'll curve it through there that's actually going to be Quite an interesting little feature, right? Look at that. And we can, oh man, look at that. Kind of like it like this. Do the separate one there again. Oh, look at that. So there we go. So now we've got um, the starting point for our rail. In this area what I'll do is I will actually go ahead and say yes for all of that um, similarly I will also say yes for the road construction here let's say yes for that and now we need to go ahead and plan um, our connectivity so I'll have to redo this connectivity here um, and tie that in but I'm, that's a good starting point the piece that uh, is however slightly more interesting is um, is our ability to in interchange here so we may have to, if, um, well, we may have to do, yeah, that's fine, actually. We can interchange quite comfortably in this location. It's not it's not the big deal. We'll just interchange towards that side instead. And this one interchange towards this side. And that provides us access to multiple directions. And we can get into town. We'll, we'll have, we can have separate access points here as well. Uh, we just want to make sure that our, our rail connection is working pretty well. Now, let's, um, I'm going to spend one more minute. Well, it actually should be the end of this episode. Let's, um, oh, that's the road. Just want to clear this out. Come on. Uh, well, let's pull it back. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Let's pull it back all the way over there. We'll pull this back. We know where we want to tie in. Um, I may have to pull, actually. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do that. That's good. That's good. Now, um, so if we were to, let's just make a start on our on our new um, piece here. So we do want to maybe make sure that we're just outside of that. So. Something like this is probably okay. So let's just leave it there. Um, show me. Oh, yeah. Level level wise, this is good. If we do that, that's okay. Uh, let's clear out that little section there. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We can we can quite comfortably now. Do a bit of this. I actually quite like it. And now we can do a very kind of slow crawl up here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, but we do need to make sure that we get up there. Uh, so let's do... Oh. And then this side. It's 
actually is, is that okay anyway let's um well let's level it let's level it a little bit i'm gonna, gonna end the episode now let's uh let's smooth it out a little bit over here it's, it's a little bit Oh, actually, the road is also something that we'll need to have a look at. So let's... Um, if we do... I'm hoping this is a, is a pretty reasonable way of doing it. So let's just do that. So now let's uh, level, uh, smooth it out over here. Yeah, that's, I think that's about the right. Uh, maybe a little, I want to smooth it as best we can. Okay, I think that's about right. It looks pretty reasonable to me. Now let's, um, let's see about where we, come on, let's just zoom it out. All the way over there. And uh, which side? Oh, that was that side. So now we just need to hide this guy in there. And we'll bring this guy around all the way down yeah, somewhere. And we'll see about how exactly we tie that in. But that gives us a ton more space. And at the same time, let's quickly finish off the little road connection here. Um... I um by starting it out pretty straight like so, right? And then we give it a, a nice nice cool curve like that. Excellent. Uh, and then basically we we tie it in we tie it into that into that the road section there. Um so what I'll do, I'll actually clear this out so we don't don't get uh, too attached to that. And then the idea is we do this. Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful little tie in there. Yeah, it's not a perfect one, but it works really well. Um, and then from here we will do that, so these guys can get back access to that. There we go. So that is our interchange into our new town over here. And I've got some ideas around this town. But if you've got some ideas for this, it'll be good as well to share that. Uh, we we don't currently have proper road access over here, so we may have to do an, a separate interchange to provide access here. But I'm also thinking we do need to provide some level of access from this side. So we might have a bit of a look at what we can do there. We might leave this as a level crossing. Ooh, that's fairly close to, to that section. I might see about doing something funny over here. But anyway, we will do a, a tie-in on this side also. Uh, and this is continuing, and that is continuing, and this is continuing. Okay, all of that's good. Let's make another quick fly through. But yeah, slowly we're progressing with little little sections. Um, I may actually just say yes to the, the rail con connections here, just so that that's in the place, and we'll, that gives us a little bit of extra room there. Um, these sections are getting done. I like that. Um, Still, this is moving along pretty well. Look at that money. That money is really rolling in now. Our exports is growing. Um, are we seeing more here? No, not quite, even though we probably have... Uh, we're struggling. We're struggling. We're struggling. Okay, let's quickly move on and see how we're progressing over here. Yeah, we can comfortably make a start on some further um, access points to this. Let's do that and get that underway and get that assigned by the Zacto team. Uh, I would like to maybe drop down the number of workers that's kind of hanging out over here for no good reason. Down to about 30. We'll do a very similar thing on that side. We don't want to do too crazy. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. There's a bit of heating. Oh, there's a still... Okay, hang on. Let's just see what that's doing. So that's all good. Um... We still have heating being constructed. That's okay. Power is done. Um, we've got a little bit of sewage that's left, but, but overall sewage and water is now good. And if I click that, yes, we have. And we don't have anything because it's not powered. But this one should be powered, right? Building is without power. So how come... 
that's interesting. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that out in the next episode. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So I think we're in a position to maybe start planning this out a little bit more. Why is this taking so much ages to get done? Why do we not have asphalt? Let's just have a look. What's the situation here? One crime not reported, so we need a police station over here. But you... You have to have asphalt, right? Oh, it does have... It just, we're just waiting on asphalt. Asphalt's been used significantly everywhere so that's basically the situation but yeah we're growing uh, population is up to almost twenty-two thousand. um let's have a quick look at the happiness over here yeah still at 49 that these guys are pretty unhappy i'll have to see if there's something we can do to help them out a little bit but uh but yeah it's, it's growing much slower than i expected guys thank you so much for watching again not a lot of action but just slowly working our way building up on our on our um on our nation over here on our republic and our money is kind of holding even though we're um we're we're doing a lot more now even with the imports going um and our highway has been finished um so so that's a that's a that's a good one that's a, that's a good one and we are are making good progress on all of our major infrastructure projects um, all over and once we've got them in place right it's easy to access wherever we want to go so for instance there's a i think there's a spot over here where we can um mine um iron ore um so once this is all done it's easy for us to, to just uh develop an outpost over here to start um feeding iron ore into into this area but that's kind of the idea with uh with putting all of this infrastructure um into our nation so that we have Connected the east and the west, we're able to trade on both borders, get um, get our dollars moving, and uh, and and just generally have access to places. So, uranium over here, we now should have access to that if that's one something that we want to do. Without significant further infrastructure, we can quite comfortably start building this town with proper infrastructure in this location, um, and we can connect our steel. We can do our mining. Um, all these kind of things. That's the reason why we've kind of put out the infrastructure uh, the way we've done. And there's plenty of stuff we can do over here with further oil refining and, and the like. Guys, uh, if you have liked it and you've enjoyed it, I do appreciate all your support and your comments and your likes. So please do hit that button and leave your comments. Um, especially if you've got some naming suggestions. I've got some ideas of my own, which I will share um, as we start planning that city. Um, but absolutely, we uh, we can maybe start building some of these things up as well. Kaoski is uh, probably not doing as much as they should. Uh, but yeah, now with this with this new setup here, we're moving um, a lot more coal into into the trains there. So anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.